might well ask, what are we doing at Walmart? Good question. Today, it's the battle of the sheet sizes. Full versus twin. Which one is a better fit on the bed? Let's go. Thanks for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. My name is Scott. I'm your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large, a YouTube channel dedicated to the Class B, that would be a band, lifestyle. Here, what we do is we learn together, we share together, and then you decide what's the best way for you to RV. Whether you're still researching, that'd be no time, part-time, taking longish trips, or full-time living in the van like me. Been living in this van since February 2019, full-time in this 21-foot camper van, Built by Winnebago is a Travado 59 GL on a Ram Promaster van. Today, Today we're going to find out which sheet fits the bed in the back the best. The bed is about 4 feet by 6 feet. Today we're going to experiment full size versus twin size here at the Walmart. Let's jump inside. A lot of choices in the bedding aisle. Here's what I like to get. I like to get the mainstays, which is kind of the uh, Walmart brand, and you have two choices, either a fitted sheet or a flat sheet. The difference being, many of you know, is a flat sheet does not have the elastic corners that hold around the mattress. Flat is just that. It's a simple sheet that you can tuck in, but they do pull loose. So here's what I'm going to test today. So we're going to experiment with these two, fitted twin versus full. Let's go make a purchase. With the hard part of the job done, let's go try on the sheets and see which one fits better. Stay to the end because I have a hot tip for you that'll help keep your sheets cleaner after daily use. Yes. Not a bad place to do some sheet testing. Yes, look at this. Could easily be distracted by looking at all the cool wildlife and the seashore, but let's go try on some sheets. So what I have here is a four by six bed. It's in the 59G Health floor plan. It's a Murphy bed, so it lays down then folds up. And what I have on here currently is a full size fitted mattress pad. Now in full transparency, some of you have suggested a twin fitted sheet uh, for the bottom sheet. And I've been using a full size fitted sheet for over two and a half years all this time so again this is battle of the sizes let's put on the full size fitted sheet and see how that looks all right with the full size fitted sheet on um, it looks pretty good from the outset but what I've done is there's a lot of material that is kind of sagging and I can tell you from personal experience for over two and a half years that what happens is when I start sleeping in this, it's, it bunches up in the middle and it's just really uh, not a good look. So um, again, the look at the material here. You can see how much extra there is. Then that kind of crunches up in the middle of the bed. Um, certainly when I move this thing up like that, the material will scoot and kind of wad up um, so it, it kind of looks like this at the end of the night where it's all folded and it's a really not a great look so that's the full again this is a Walmart brand mainstays a twin fitted twin XL and it says that it's 39 inches by 80 inches by 14 inches deep So let's remove this, put on the gray, and see how that looks. And see how much extra material we have or don't have on the back side. This 
this is a much better look and fit already. Let me show you this. So you can just see right away that the fit is significantly better and there is significantly less extra material underneath. So I think this is gonna be a much better solution. I'm gonna fold this up. It pulls tight, which it didn't on the full size. So I'd really recommend the fitted twin for the bottom sheet and uh, that will solve a lot of problems. So here's my hot tip for you to keep your sheets clean night after night. And that is to use a roller to get the dirt off the bed. This certainly works if you have a pet. This gets cat hair, dog hair, foot dirt off of the bed and it keeps your bedding really, really clean. I do this every morning as part of my get up routine. And yes, this is much, much better here. Uh, much less material. This is gonna stay tight. And I really, really like that. So I enjoyed making that video for you. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, give it a thumb up. One thumb up. <laughs> and uh, comment below. Was this new information to you? What kind of sheets do you use on your RV bedding? Maybe even your house bedding? Where are you watching from? I would be very curious about that. We have a lot of international watchers here on Go Small Live Large. And please subscribe to the channel. We're doing one to two videos a week and a YouTube live on Wednesday. We call it What's Up Wednesday. Uh, we have lots of content, uh, your viewer questions live, and we have occasionally special guests. We've had the Ginger Walkabout on, a YouTube star in the past, and we have a bunch of new guests coming up. And until we see you soon, I wish you to journey on. since you stayed all the way to the end, I want to point out that the cost of that sheet is less than $7.